Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. It's the end of May, you can see the little tadpoles are still growing, we're still waiting for little ribbits around the garden. But it's been a little bit warmer here in May, it's definitely been a slow start to the summer. I have here some of the pine cleaner, the one that I made at winter time and I've run out of my cleaner so it's now time to strain it out and use. And so I've been thinking recently where I've been changing the emphasis from zero waste living to more resourceful living. I found that I was being way too strict on myself, focusing too much of making sure I was never in sight of a plastic bottle or always making sure I had my serviette with me. But in this post-COVID world where the cost of living is increasing exponentially every day, I think for most of us, our priorities have changed. We're doing the best to put food on the table and to pay our bills. Everything else comes after that. Now, in saying that, it doesn't mean that I don't care for the environment. I care immensely for planet Earth, Mother Nature. I've just changed the emphasis. I think of how my grandparents lived and imagine how their grandparents lived. They were definitely far more resourceful than I am now. Of course, it's incredibly important, all these new technologies that are coming out that are going to make cleaner energy. But it doesn't matter if it's not accessible to, of course, the whole world. If it's only accessible to a few with surplus money, then it's not really going to help. We all have to live here on this planet together. And of course, we can't control the actions of anyone else but ourselves. So I think when you live a slow, simple life, you're taking the pressure off yourself. You know that you're doing the best you can with the tools that you have, with the information, the knowledge, the resources that you have. And of course, everyone else is too. I don't think it's ever our place to judge another. We don't know other people's circumstances. Everyone too is doing the best that they can. This year in the vegetable garden, it's definitely been slower. The seedlings have been growing, but very slowly. So I'm just transferring them to bigger pots rather than putting them out into the polytunnel. Because if I put them out too small, the slugs will just feast on them. I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Just what you think about, say, the zero waste movement or the climate change movement and then being resourceful. I just keep finding myself going back to basics, going back to things that are really simple, being gentle on the planet. I know what my priorities are and I'm not going to jeopardise those. I have a car, I need to use it. We don't live close to... <laughs> A village, we have to drive there. But resourceful living, I'm always thinking of what I can reuse. These little pots, for instance. I got some flowers in them last year. Years ago, I never would have bought them because of this little plastic box. Now I'll just reuse them for more seedlings. I think the focus has to come more on just the things that we are doing rather than what we're not doing. So even if we're just planting one plant, one herb, it's better than not planting anything. And it got me thinking again about nature and how the less we do, the better. We seem to live in a world where we're all focusing on what other people are doing. And somebody very wise said to me recently, mind your own business. Remember to look after your own garden and stop worrying and looking at everyone else's. And I think that works for so many areas in your life. 
But a world of social media, we can naturally compare because we're seeing everybody's life online, including my own. And yet we don't ever really know people's circumstances, what's going on for people. But we do know that everybody is doing the best that they can. So I'm always trying to be more creative. Think of ways of reusing things. We've had these DVDs for years sitting in a cupboard and I thought I'd use them and bring a little bit of rainbow colour into the garden. What do you think about that? Do you find that the world is changing now in a post-Covid world where cost of living is so expensive, wages are not going up, people are struggling to eat? If any of you know the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it was something we learned when I did nursing. We need to be able to feed ourselves first before we can think of anything else after that. And this sustainable movement or zero waste movement can sometimes only be accessible to the very wealthy. And yet, our grandparents were far more naturally zero waste than we are now. But there's no point putting any blame on anyone. I think it's just taking a step back and focusing on what you can do. For me, it's giving gratitude to the earth that I live on and trying to live as gently as possible. But I'm still not going to jeopardize the well-being of my family or the ones that I care for. So really, I think in this post-COVID world, it's about taking the pressure off ourselves. The world is changing very rapidly. I find if I think about it too much, I get overwhelmed, upset or angry or grieve maybe a lot of things that used to be so much simpler. Sometimes there can be more greenwashing than ever before because it's the in thing to talk about. And when you look deeper at something, you find it's not really sustainable at all. Sometimes when we think we're helping, we're actually not. Which brings me back to my wise friend who said, mind your own business. In William Glasser's psychology, he talks about all about you're the inspiration. So you model the model. And that's what I'm trying to focus on. Just living my simple life. Caring for nature the way that I can. And leaving the rest. Nobody puts pressure on ourselves the way we put pressure on ourselves. just letting go a little bit can help and it gives your mind space to then be more creative and think what you can use things for we got some free wood I really wanted to make a bench for the little fairy our other one that we've had for years isn't quite up to it anymore it's a little bit wobbly so I'm not very good at DIY or proficient at DIY I just looked up the easiest bench you can make and found one. That is something that I love about online. I can get so much information, but do you find sometimes it can literally, it can be too much information? It's like you're overdosed in information. So I like to keep things simple. I have a few different people or a few different values that I follow and I just stick to that. Yes, there's new information coming all the time, but really my brain can handle it all. We had some leftover white paint that was exterior paint. I only had a tiny bit left, so I just added some water. 
before I would have been much stricter of making it really pretty, making sure it was completely sustainable. Now, like I said, the emphasis has changed to resourceful living. Just getting by with what you have, being creative, using what somebody gives you for free or you get a gift from somebody. And hopefully this little bench will serve us well in the years to come. So I'd love to chat in the comments below. I really value all your opinions and the way that you're able to say things in a nutshell. <laughs> Me waffling on for these few minutes. But thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful month and hopefully I will see you in June. Yeah, mama. Mama. Mama.